All right, welcome to another episode of OPP, Only Fools Podcast. I'm Brian. And I'm TK. And we're here to talk yeah. about scoring. Get down with OPP, yeah, you know me. Get down with OPP, yeah, you know me. You down with OPP, yeah, you know me. Who's down with OPP? Every last homie. Hey. You ever go swimming, man, it's so much fun. Now we got a podcast showing in everyone. Talking about pools, the stories we share. From backyard splashing to Olympic fair. We got chlorine, PA. And filter tips keep your pool fresh, avoiding no slips with hosts so cool and guests so neat. We're dropping pool knowledge that it can't be beat. You down with OPP, only pools by cash. You down with OPP, only pools by cash. You down with OPP, only pools by cash. You down with OPP, every last homie, only pools by cash. Let's go. All right. And, uh, all right. Yeah. So, um, chemistry, uh, we're going to continue our endeavor. Um, and, and talking about the different, different chemistry things that you have to test uh, to make sure you're fully balanced. Right. Uh, next one, and one of the most important ones, is chlorine. Now, there's three three types of chlorine that get tested in general. You have uh, total chlorine, uh, combined chlorine, and free chlorine. Yeah. Free chlorine uh, is the chlorine that is available to sanitize the pool. Okay. That's, that's what hasn't been used. Uh, your combined chlorine, I'm sorry, your total chlorine, is the chlorine that has been used up and that's in the pool. Then your combined chlorine is the total of both of those chlorines added together. So you don't want your, you don't want your combined chlorine and free chlorine to be the same because they're pretty much like canceling each other out I um, when we're looking at the chemistry. So the main thing that we're going to focus on though is free chlorine because that is what's available to sanitize your pool and to actually work. So, and that's exactly what it does. It's sanitizers. It's the ultimate sanitizer. I know there's some rumors or jokes going around about Trump saying, uh, when when the whole COVID thing happened, saying that oh just shoot yourself up with bleach. Don't. Um, obviously, no, don't do that. But the <laughs> point, one true point that he made is chlorine will kill COVID. It kills HIV. It kills all these other things. Unfortunately, it kills yourself too. You can't inject oh, yourself yeah. with chlorine. But does it kill those things? Absolutely, it does. Uh, chlorine is the number one sanitizer in the world. That's why pools all over the world use it. Mm-hmm. Um, now there are, there are technical advances out there that are uh, making pools, I want to say chlorine free, where they're not using chlorine anymore. There's UV light, there's oh, yeah. um, ozon, ozonizers that uh, will kill parasites and stuff on contact. Ozon. Um, ozon? Those are becoming um, more and more popular uh, in the industry. We have one pool that we just did over in Tampa that uh, we have an ozonizer, ozonizer on. Uh, along with UV, huh. um, for the, it's an in- indoor pool, so it works well there. Uh, they they don't want the chlorine smell in their in their house, oh. so in, yeah. with this indoor pool, um, by using that, they don't have to worry about that. Uh, algae isn't a problem anyway because it's an indoor pool, right? Uh, so, uh, well, they could have in indoor that plants and good, stuff. So. I'm sorry, they could have indoor plants and stuff, right? But they, they don't have the sun beating down on the pool because right. it's indoors. So sun is what's causing the algae in their pool in the first place. So you eliminate the sun from the room and, you know, their windows are all tinted. So they don't have any issues with that anyway. The last two flow riders I worked at, Mm -hmm. uh, Utah and Wisconsin, both had UV, but they also had chlorinators chlorinators as well. Yeah. Now Department of Health, uh, as far as commercial applications go, will not, that that won't work. You can't add those on it. They don't, they don't recognize them as adequate sanitizers for uh, pool water. So, just the uh, UV and right, UV, else, right. Yeah. You still need that other one. Same thing with salt. They don't uh, recognize salt, um, salt chlorinating systems to be adequate. Uh, so you still need either pad feeders or a controller with um, with thinner pumps to provide chlorine to the pool. That uh, they consider the salt uh, system as a backup to the chlorination. The pool goes. I mean, you need chlorine in in the pool. Right. Ideal range. You want between three and a five. For your chlorine level, um, it can, according to the Department of Health in Florida, anyway, uh, you are allowed to have up to a ten in chlorine as of now. There's rumors of them changing it, narrowing that margin. Yep, like I know uh, this past year on spas, it's only allowed to be a five uh, for for oh. for spas, which makes it harder to to control. You definitely have you can't use uh, chlorine tab heaters anymore because uh, the stabilizer issue, which that's a whole nother video, um, <laughs> but. Uh, Anyway, yeah. So. so even the hot tubs are even more narrow. You only got two to five. Right. But right. Five is the max, is the highest that it can be. Otherwise, they'll close the hot tub down. Wow. 
And, and that makes sense. I mean, a tin and a hot tub. Uh, I that. And and I've seen your swimsuits will bleach out at a tin. So uh, a lot of complaints with hotels and that happening. You got refund customers and it's a whole mess. Chlorine can be added uh, several ways to a pool, depending on mm-hmm. what form you're using. Uh, there are several forms of chlorine we use. Uh, when we shock a pool, we use Cal Hypo. Um, granular. Gran- yep, that's a granular form. Um, for regular service residential pools, we use tabs, uh, which is a trichlor, which has got three things in it. It's got the acid, it's got the chlorine, uh, as well as stabilizer. And then, of course, there's liquid chlorine, uh, which is Tried the most, most, most common and we <laughs> use it as well. In fact, this time of year, we only use it liquid yes. chlorine. Uh, because those tablets uh, on the residentials uh, will raise that stabilizer level too high. So we give it a break uh, for the season uh, while it's cooler months out, and we only use liquid on it. So Liquid gold for a reason. Yep. If you ever overdose on chlorine, there are chemicals uh, out there that you can use to neutralize your chlorine. But I will forewarn you that it's hard to, it's going to take you a couple of weeks to get that balance back again for, for it to show another chlorine reading, a positive one, because it lasts for yeah. a long time. Um, there's, it's called no chlor. I know it's one brand. Um, sulfate, yeah. Yep. Uh, what's the word? No. Sodium thiosulfate. Yeah. So, sodium tri- thio- thiosulfate. thiosulfate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have a real hard time pronouncing certain words and that was one of them. We had a lot of code browns mm-hmm. at a water park I worked at. So you got to boost it and then lower it. And then, yep. yeah, we had to do that a lot. So I'm happy meeting. used to that. <laughs> uh, nothing, uh, sodium bromide. Um, which is used in, it's a product called Yellow Out or Yellow Train. Uh, it's, oh, yeah. it's a product called sodium bromine. That will lower it because it, it combines with the chlorine and makes a super chlorine, but it only lasts in season water for about 24 hours. So, so I've, mm-hmm. I've lowered chlorine levels by putting that in because then within 24 hours, that chlorine level will drop as well. Because, uh, yeah, like green pools, when you yeah. throw it in there, your chlorine's gone and yep. you're like coming back another day. Yep. It, it will shock it one day with. The sodium bromide and, and chlorine shock together create super chlorine, kills all the algae. But the next day or day after, when you come by and test, there's no yeah. chlorine left. <laughs> so, and that's why they do it. But uh, they're taking sodium bromide out um, off the market, I guess. So, till the next new product that comes out. And I just found that out a couple weeks ago. Oh. Uh, so, we're going to have to find something else to use to treat yellow pools. You don't need to have it in there. It just helps and makes it, the process yeah. a lot quicker uh, when you're trying to treat for it. But... We'll see. They'll, they'll probably just remarket it in the way it's sold. Uh, it'll st- probably still be there, like many things. A tip as far as the chemical goes, I mean, if you are if you have, first of all, with any chemicals, you don't want them to mix together ever, right. so store them right. in a you know dry dry area, somewhere that's not going to get too hot and not enclosed in your house, because obviously you get those chlorine yes, fumes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a problem. Uh, even here at our office, when our service techs come back, sometimes they'll leave a tab in the back of a cart. Oh, and within about an hour, my eyes are watering because of the chlorine in the room, uh, yes. just overpowering. So uh, make sure that you don't do that. Uh, adding it to the pool and stuff, there's different different kinds. Like I said, the liquid, the tabs, uh, granular, um, just whatever works best for you. The liquid's usually the easiest to find. Yes. It's yep. in every pool store. Yes, it is. Ultimately, I guess the safest to use, but use caution with all of them. You don't want to splash in your Relay eyes or anything like that. Yes. But some most people don't look guys. Guys, yeah. don't, guys don't ever read labels. Luckily, there's only like four cents and so on those labels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it on, on chlorine. And, uh, you know, as far as free chlorine, that's what you're measuring most. And what your concern is, is you want that, to have that available chlorine uh, in order to sanitize your pool to make it safe because right. it kills off, um, kills off everything. <laughs> Like I said, it's the it's ultimate sanitizer. And we do have other videos where we go into myths about chlorine yep. turning your hair color or causing diseases. So check those videos out. They'll be over here. To end it, mm-hmm. we used this joke in our uh, our group chat mm-hmm. the other day. It it was pretty funny because we did have one. <laughs> I kid. said it, but I yeah I don't remember it how how it went. So. But the, uh, there was a lot of people that it just went right over. So. There was a warning that said, guys, if you have any sodium chloride right. in your trucks, please don't throw it at customers because that's the salt. I don't get it. Oh, sodium chloride is, is salt. salt. Okay, yeah. got it. Boom. <laughs> I think I need yeah. a little graphic. Yeah. Yeah, we, <laughs> we had one tech that just went. 
<laughs> it's like, um, did that come up in the conversation? <laughs> Who's throwing stuff at people? I'm like, ah, oh, no, no. It's a dad joke. I mean, yeah. my grandfather. Of, it's um, a smart dad nine, joke. So, yeah. Yeah. So I guess if you aren't chemistry savvy, you probably won't get yeah. it. But thank you for joining us. And as always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel uh, so you can get more updates on all of our new stuff going on. And as always, just keep swimming. Get down with OPP. Yeah, you know me. Get down with OPP. Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP. Yeah, you know me. Who's down with OPP? Every last homie. Hey, you ever go swimming, man? It's so much fun. Now we got a podcast showing in everyone. Talking about pools, the stories we share. From backyard splashing to Olympic fair. We got chlorine, pH, and filter tips. Keep your pool fresh, avoiding no slips. With hosts so cool and guests so neat. We're dropping pool knowledge that it can't be beat. You down with OPP? Only pools podcast. You down with OPP? Only pools podcast. You down with OPP? Only pools podcast. Who's down with OPP? Every last homie. Dive into discussions, no topics too small. From kiddie pools to water parks, we cover it all. We got pool. Parties and cannonballs too. If it's about water, we talking to you. Interviews with experts and stories to share. From poolside barbecues to water care. We got tips and tricks to keep your pool right. Listen in the morning or at the late night. You down with OPP? Only pools podcast. You down with OPP? Only pools podcast. You down with OPP? Only pools podcast. Who's down with OPP? Every last old man. O is for only the best place to be. P is for pools. Come dive in with me. P is for podcast. We talking weekly. Only pools podcast. The one and only. Grab your goggles and your floaties too. Tune in to our show. We got stuff for you. Poolside chats to aquatic news. Only pools podcast. You can't refuse. We teach you how to clean, how to keep it clear. The best pool stories that you'll ever hear. Uh, from summer fun to maintenance prep. Only pools podcast. We're your best bet. You down with OPP? Only Pools Podcast. You down with OPP? Only Pools Podcast. You down with OPP? Only Pools Podcast. Who's down with OPP? Every last old man. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Who's down with OPP? Every last old man. Only Pools Podcast. Let's go.